Hey everybody, welcome back to the 300ZX project in Glen's Garage here. So what we're starting with today is the first of, I'm sure there'll be many videos we're diving into the interior on the car. So I'm gonna start in the rear cargo area. So we're gonna go basically, there we, there we are, from the B pillar back. We're gonna be starting to take that apart and, and then start to refurbish everything. So let's go have a look. Okay, so welcome to the Sea of Burgundy. Um, okay, so I've cleared out stuff in the back here. Um, not sure the wife will be best pleased, but all the tea tops and bits and pieces are now all in a spare room, so they're out of the garage here. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this carpet out of the way. Um, for the most part, it just sits here. And I guess again, you know, this is obviously, this is a two seater. So it's not a two plus two, that would be, it would be something different. Um, so we've got, it comes from the very back there down to this area here. So this is a storage bin. I think previous owners look like a sunshade there. Um, so what we're gonna do, there's four clips push clips here and then there's two screws that come from underneath to hold this rail in place and this carpet oh and then we got to undo the strapping that holds the t-tops or I guess whatever else you want to strap down um, and this should come out okay so five of these push clips across here um, going to try one of these trim Trim removal tools should pop them off. There we go. So you're going to be working on this interior. I think these would be a good tool to have. Okay, so we lift it up. There's a screw that holds a little bar on, so undo those. And we should be pretty much ready to remove the carpet off of this cargo area. Okay, so I've got these straps done here. This should now. There we go. Should we grab the clips? All right, so this is gonna get replaced. Um, I do notice a couple of tabs down here. It would, looks like they clip in here. So I'm not gonna throw this out, but I'll keep this around in case for some reason the replacement part doesn't have this. I can at least take it off and try and attach it to the new carpet. Okay, so the insulation here is a little delicate, I guess it's a term, but I think if I can leave it in place, I think it'll be okay. If I take it out, I suspect it's going to fall apart. And I genuinely don't think I'll be able to replace it. So I'm going to try and just leave it in place. I'm going to try and glue some of these things back together here. And see how that works. Uh, Toolkit. They need a bit of cosmetic glove, but it's basically there. The only thing we're missing is that, which... I'm going to guess is the bar that goes in here to create a T-handle. So should be able to find a little bar to go in there. All right, so for me, next on the list, I'm going to get that um, cargo area door off. There's three Phillips screws there. And then I'm going to get these two straps out of the way here. I think that's a 10 mil socket. I will get this done. Okay. Alright, 
So the next thing I'm going to get out is this rear panel here. There's just three little like lock and turn clips there. There's a fourth one here, but that's part of holding the uh, spare tire cover on. So those three and that should just lift out. All right, so what you see now is I'm trying to take all these panels out so they can all be cleaned up and refinished. and They all overlap each other. So, um, and I've had these out before. I said this on a other video. I had these out before um, trying to gain access for the shocks when I was working on the rear suspension. So they've been put back together, finger tightened some bolts and that, but they're basically back in situ. So what you're gonna end up with, you got two 10 mil bolts down here. Now I can just unscrew them with my hand because like I said they didn't tighten them up. And there's that. The cargo piece now comes out. As you can see, this laps underneath it and this goes underneath it as well. So this is the piece we're gonna get next, the, which is the window surround. So there, are, there's a screw there, a screw there. Like I said, they're missing right now because I took them out already. They're there, and then we're gonna to go to the front and I'll show you where the others are. Okay, so this is the door opening here. So there's a piece of plastic trim here that runs all the way down, down to the bottom here. Um, it's held in, there's a couple of push clips here you have to get out, little square ones. There's the coat hook here you have to unscrew you'll have to release at least one or not two of these for the sill plate because this tucks under the sill plate and then this should start to lift out of the way and this lifts out of the way this frees up this window rear window panel which is what we're trying to get at okay so we're going to start working on getting this trim out here uh so again pop these two clips here Get this. That's a good hefty screw that. Um you get the two at least this one screw out of the sill plate here. And then this will move out of the way. And I should pull this piece of trim out of the way. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this um, the bolt out that secures the bottom of the seat belt. That'll let it feed through here so this I can get this panel out because this doesn't appear to be slotted in any way to get the, the seat belt out. So 16 mil, 16 mil socket. Said, thinking it would, but not being hugely sure it would. Oh, there we go. Okay, there. Uh -huh. Okay. There's a seat belt out of the way, and there's the window trim panel now. All right, so with that out of the way, you'll see there's a screw here, a screw here, a screw here, a screw down there that need to come out. And then this panel should also lift out. A couple of push, push pins here as well. 
There is also a stud welded on around the shock tower area here with a nut that needs to come off. Again, mine's finger tight. That should now, I think, lift off. There we are, there's the big piece of trim out. All right, so I'm gonna do effectively exactly the same thing on the passenger side. The only difference you'll see obviously is, first of all, there's the bin for where the spare tire is you take out. Um, and then secondly, something I noticed, uh, this was missing on the other side. Um, and so there's another screw up here. Um, that I think is a hook for the, um, the tonneau. So it was missing, so I'll have to track one of those down. So when you're working on that side, obviously there's another screw up under there that I didn't talk about because it was missing. Um, yeah, other than that, we'll just crack on, get this side out. So it looks, looks like that. Okay, so that's the passenger side all taken apart as well. Um, I guess not a lot to note there really. Um, I did find the screw that holds the seatbelt down there was finger tight and literally undid it without the wrench. That's a little scary. Um, anyway, yeah, it's all apart. No real surprises under there. Uh, we're going to go about cleaning it all up now. And um, yeah, it's, I mean, Sort of reminds me of my old rally cars I used to run, where you'd strip the interior out completely. So, once I get this cleaned up, my next step, I'll be, uh, I'll be starting to look at uh, restoring all those panels I've just taken out there. All right, so I've got all that apart now. Um, and as I always ask, if you've enjoyed the video, the series, if it was at all helpful to you, um, a like, a subscribe would be just awesome for the channel. Much appreciated. And uh, I hope to see you back here. We're going to be trying to refurbish those panels next. We'll see if we can make them look better than they do, hopefully near new. So check back in. In the meantime, everybody, drive safely out there. And I hope you have an awesome day. And I'll see you back here in the garage.